Drunk feller at the saloon last night was... Hey, y'all. Enough of this horse shit. Thank you. You're okay, boy. Easy there. Identify yourself! Arthur, you dumbass! I ain't even gonna ask where you've been. Yeah. Miss 
Mr. Morgan. Mr. Morgan. Yes, Miss Grimshaw. One of the girls saw that friend of yours, Mary Gillis, sniffing about. Mary? Yes. I never liked that woman, Mr. Morgan. Funny business. How's it going? Not bad. Excellent. Good morning. The preacher, I remember. Soon, please. Yeah, yeah. Morning, Mr. Morgan. Morning. Mr. Arthur, I told Dutch I feel I should tell you. I saw some of Combs boys riding around. Down here? What they want? I have no idea. They see you? I don't think so. Okay. Well, thanks for letting me know, Kieran. Mm-hmm. Arthur. Dear Arthur, I've written this letter a hundred times or more, and I cannot get it right. It's me. You know it's me from the bad handwriting. I know I said when we last spoke, and I was going off to get married, that we would not speak again. I know I said a lot of things, and I meant them, I suppose, at the time. But I'm not so proud as to not speak to people who care for me, or cared for me. I've been in Valentine for a couple of months. I had some bad luck and, well, it's a long story and not an interesting one, but I am here for now. I saw a couple of the girls, or whatever the polite term is for them, that ran with you and your associates in town, and I heard tell of a man who sounded like you. I would love to see you again if you could spare me a little bit of your time. I'm renting a room at Chadwick Farm, just north of Valentine. Yours, Mary Linton. Mr. Morgan, can, can I? Are you okay? Yes. It was miles away, I'm afraid. So it seems. Anyway, it's that fellow Downs. The, uh, do-gooder? Exactly. We lent him quite a sum. It seems like he has little intention of repaying us. He was quite ridiculous when I went to see him. You, uh, you've not been to see him yet, I take it? Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, Harris Strauss. I had a lot on. I'll go give him a gentle reminder. Not so gentle. I don't like his kind. Superior. As you wish.
Load up. Come on, boy. Easy. do you want? <coughs> Mr. Thomas Downs? You owe me money. Uh, oh, no, no, I'm, I'm, I'm... Oh, 
Come here, you maggot. Please, sir. I'm... I'll... Really? Threaten me, would you? Oh, please. I have a family, sir. Please. I don't care about your family. Why'd it have to come to this, huh? Believe me, sir. I didn't want this either. You ain't such a do-gooder, are you? If you're running out on debts... I'm... I'm not running anywhere. I'm... I'm... I'm, do I'm doing my best for you. You are a slippery little bastard. But I got you now. Please. Please, show some compassion. Please. Strauss told me you needed a beating. You saying he was right? What will that solve? Now, wouldn't paying up have been a little easier? Pay the money, you'll make this stop. How's that debt looking now? Your debt's caught you, mister. And it ain't letting go. Pay the money. If I'm here, there's a reason I'm here. If you'd been good, this wouldn't be happening. We took your word. Now we'll take your hide. A little patience is all I require. <laughs> please, please, no. You borrowed money from my business partner, Herr Strauss. You owe him, you took the money. He wants it back, what's not to understand? <laughs> Where's our money? I don't have it. Sell your place. We already owe more than it's worth. <coughs> then sell your wife or your family or something. We ain't your idea of charity. Is that clear? <coughs> Thomas! What are you looking at? Thomas! I said what you looking at, woman. My husband isn't well. If we could just have more... Like I said, we ain't nobody's idea of charity. Get us the money. Ah, how did you get on? Not so good. He's almost dead. And they seem more or less destitute. You were a fool for lending them the money. Well, people who aren't desperate don't seem so interested in my propositions. Of course. Thank you, Mr. Morgan, for sparing me like that. I'll work hard. I am not a bad fella. You'll soon warm to me. Just see that I do. Oh, you will. And boy, hmm? 
Thank you for saving my life. Well, yeah, of course. Room here by the fire if you want. When are we eating, Mr. Pearson? Believe me, you'll be the first to know. Okay, Arthur? For sure. Hey, Abigail. You know, you should get out of here for a bit. God, that'd be nice. Mr. Morgan! Mr. Morgan! I've noticed you've stopped paying into the box. I've been sort of busy, Miss Grimshaw. Mm. Well, we all need to eat, Mr. Morgan. <sighs> I'll see what I can do. Thank you. John? Hello. 